It's developing news in the capital city tonight. Police say they have arrested at least five people so far protesting outside of the public safety complex in Providence. And several officers have had what police describe as a red paint-like substance thrown at them. Good evening, I'm Erica Ritchie. Let's get right out to Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer now for a look at how things have been unfolding tonight. She's been out there all night long. Brittany, how are things in Providence right now? Well, Erica, it's a tense situation outside of the Providence Police Department. Earlier, there were hundreds of protesters calling it to defund the police, and they were throwing what appears to be smoke bombs, and then they were also throwing pain at officers. Then after being at the Providence Police Department, they continued down the Broad Street area, chanting and walking. Now, what they were doing is they were obstructing traffic, and behind me here, you can see there's dozens of police officers in riot gear standing guard at their department. Demonstrators and Providence police clash in a Saturday night protest. The planned protest aiming to condemn the arrest of two protesters in the city Thursday night. Providence resident Justin Bloomberg tells me police need to be defunded. Look at them. They're dressed to the nines in riot gear. They're overfunded. They're not here supporting the needs of the community and the communities across every police department in the, in the, in the country. <laughs> Eighteen-year-old Nigeli Rodriguez was one of the two protesters arrested Thursday. She tells us a Providence police officer tackled her to the ground and left her bruised. I didn't even realize that it was happening until I went down. Like I just felt a yank on my arm and I looked and I just saw an officer lunge toward me. Like he literally lunged forward and they made space because it was a wall of the officers. They they made space for him to pull me through and then they closed the wall. Police allege Rodriguez hit a Providence police sergeant with a bullhorn. Rodriguez was charged with disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and simple assault, but she denies the allegations. I was yanked, tackled, body slammed. My face was smashed into the pavement um, just because I was protesting. I knew that there would have been consequences to me protesting. I knew that there was something that would have eventually happened. Like, I was ready for it, so I'm still going to continue to fight. And the crowd seemed to have dispersed at this time in this area, but police are still here in riot gear. No word on if the protest is going to continue back to the Providence Police Department. For now, live in Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.